a couple of minutes in here. You should be okay. At least Bernard won't be asking, where are you? We on. Hello, hello. You are on. All right. Well, good morning and ha happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. And uh, before I go any further, I just wanted to say uh, I won't see you until next Sunday. So I wanted to say Happy Veterans Day. Yeah. Uh, Wednesday, November 11th is Veterans Day. So uh -huh. me being a veteran myself, I just wanted to salute, honor all our veterans and let them know thank you for your service and all the ones. Some gave some, some gave all. Yeah. And uh, for those families that uh, have lost uh, family members, we just wanted to say thank you. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. Thank you, Lord. And uh, Jesus, our greatest veteran, <laughs> our greatest a soldier, our greatest warrior. Yeah. Amen. So guess what? <laughs> you're a warrior for God, whether you know it or not. But you're somebody. You know, stop thinking like the world and know that you are somebody. And the Bible says you can do all things through Christ yeah. who strengthens you. Right. And you got to feed yourself on these things Amen. to build yourself up. Because the world, this negative world, is always trying to bring you down. Uh -huh. Amen. So, build yourself up. Stir yourself up. Amen. And press on. Amen. Just like these football teams. <laughs> Before they get on the field, they all week they've been stirred up. And when they get on the field, I mean, they just want to go out and, and do it even more. Mm -hmm. So, we need to do, as children of God, we need to do the same thing. Amen. On a daily basis, uh -huh. we need to do the same thing. I have a message the Lord gave me a while back, but... It's one of my favorites. It's called Facing Your Giants on a daily basis. Uh -huh. <laughs> Just like David, you step out into the world. Once you step, once you go out to your, your front door, <laughs> there's giants facing you. Yeah. Whether you know it or not. Uh -huh. But you know, <laughs> you can't defeat them by, on your own. You need him. You need yeah. Jesus. And you need the word. And right. you need that fellowship. You need that relationship with him. Uh -huh. If you're not built up and stirred up and ready to meet the world, they're going to eat you up. Amen. Like uh, we've said it before, part-time Christian is no match to a full-time devil. That's right. And he's full-time. Amen. Yeah. And we need to do the same thing. So we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Bienvenidos a la iglesia no comienzo. We want to welcome all those of you that are joining us by audio and video. Bienvenidos a todos los que nos escuchan por audio y video. Lord has a great message for us today. And this fits every day. Yes. <laughs> this is the title. Leave it at the cross. Leave it all at the cross. Leave it all. Amen. Uh, I was going to wait, but uh, I can show you now. Those of you that uh, are watching, you got a little uh, uh, picture, plaque, whatever you want to call it, that you can uh, hang on your wall that says, Leave it all at the cross. Uh -huh. It's got a picture of the cross. Amen. You know, Jesus did it. We can do the same thing. He yeah. paid for it all. <laughs> he paid a debt he didn't know. And we owe a debt we can't pay. That's Amen. Right. But you know what? He says, leave it at the cross. Amen. Cast it on him. That's what we're going to be talking about. Yeah. Casting it on him. Giving it to him. Because some of us don't know how to give. We don't want to give up ourselves. Uh -huh. And we don't want to give these uh, things back to him. Amen. We just want to carry them. Okay. We're carrying all these dead weights. <laughs> mm. Amen. So you got to be careful. Bookstore, buy one. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Here's a little stuff I want to leave with you. It says, let today be the kind of day where you forget to worry. <laughs> Amen. Amen. About your worries because you're so wrapped up in worshiping the one who can take them all away. Amen. <laughs> let me read it to you again. Let today be the kind of day where you forget about or forget to worry about your worries because you're wrapped up in worshiping the one who can take them all away. Oh, wow. And we just sang this song. You didn't hear it, but we, we sang it. <laughs> Cast all your burdens on Jesus. Yeah. Why? Because he cares for you. So why are you still carrying it? You know, we're carrying all these weights. We're going to be talking about one of, one of the definitions for, uh, for burden is load. Another one is weight. Yeah. Why are we carrying all this dead weight? Why are we carrying this weight when he says, cast it on me? Uh -huh. Amen. We're trying to do our job and we're trying to do God's job also. Mm -hmm. He says, give it to me. Give it to me. You know what give means? <laughs> <laughs> we got to give it to him. Cast it on yes. him. Yeah, throw it on me. You know, when yes. you cast something, you throw it at him, you uh -huh. know. <laughs> Here, you can have it. Yeah. But you know, relationship helps. 
when you have a relationship you know you can come through the throne and we're going to be going through all these scriptures we have a lot of scripture amen so have your sword ready and before we get any further let's say it like a minute right. church amen grab your swords yes. soldier of god warrior for god i said warrior not warrior <laughs> Some of us have it backwards. We don't want to worry, okay? Some of us are wor wor worry champions. <laughs> we don't want to do that. We want to be warriors for God. Yes, Amen. Yes. <laughs> this is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I will talk the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. We've gone this over, and, and you know, sometimes you know this, but you know what? You be receptive to whatever God has for you. Amen. Amen. He wants to bless you. Uh, he wants to encourage you. He wants to change you. But sometimes he wants to correct us. Yes. Amen. Yes. Sometimes we get off course. Oh. <laughs> you know, if you're listening to that negative world, you're going to get off course. Yeah. And we got to get back right with him. Amen. And he wants to make sure we do. Amen. We say, wait a minute, <laughs> something's going on. I'm acting and, and being like the world. I got to watch what I say. I got to wa watch my words and my actions. Because no. not only he knows, but the world is watching. Hmm? Yeah. Come on now. <laughs> right. So, listen, my mind is alert. We know the battlefield is the mind. Uh -huh. And the enemy can't force you to do anything, child of God, but <laughs> you keep putting it there. Uh -huh. And if you're not renewing your mind to the things of God, you're going to give in and you're going to start doing these things. Mm -hmm. So the battlefield is the mind. Yeah. So be careful. And, and God uses his people. Yes, he does. We are the body of Christ, the church, yeah. not this building. Uh -huh. But the enemy also uses people. That's and right. people are going to come and they're going to try to get in you. Amen. Mm -hmm. So be careful. Mm -hmm. Woo! I preach a good message already. <laughs> I'm excited. I don't know about you. Let me read it like I wrote it here. <laughs> or like the Lord told me here. <laughs> Leave it all at the cross. Yes, yes. Amen. That's what Jesus Leave did. He paid for it all. So why are we still trying to do yeah. Jesus' job? Oh. Why are we still trying to do his? You know, he could do it better. And if you give it to him, he knows what to do with it. Yes, he does. <laughs> better than we can. Uh -huh. So leave it all at the cross. Leave all your burdens yes. at the cross. Be carefree yes. and reach your yes. destiny. Be yes. carefree and reach your goal. Mm -hmm. Be carefree and reach um, whatever mission or, or, or vision he's given you. Yes. Yes. But you got to get rid of Be carefree. Amen. All the time. I don't care if you do. You can do it once a day or you can do it as many times a day as you have to. Uh -huh. But renew your mind to the yes. things of God. Amen. Amen. So cast your burden on Jesus. Why? Because he cares for you. Yeah. The enemy, the world, and anyone will try to distract you and stop you. Uh -huh. Okay? <laughs> Two-thirds of God's name is G-O. That means go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But the world is going to try to stop you. Say, uh -huh. why do you want to do that? You know, hey, you haven't spent any time with me. Huh? I want you to stay here. I want you to do this. You know, the enemy is going to Try to come in, you know, and uh, he's the potter and we're the clay. And we got yeah. cracks in there, or we got leaky, you know, leaky Christians. Oh, they yes. just leak out information. Oh, yeah. Leaky Christians yeah. uh, uh, forgot to stir themselves up. So guess what? They're going to start repeating negative words. Uh -huh. Negative words coming out of you. And guess what? Guess who's listening? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the enemy. Yeah. And we're opening the door for the enemy to just yeah. slide in. And yeah. he'll come in. You know, uh, that saying that says, uh, uh, you know, you give the devil a ride and oh, he'll want to drive you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So shut the doors. Be careful. Yes. Say, oh, I take that back. I repent. Uh -huh. I confess it. I repent. Yes. Amen. So be careful. The enemy. Amen. People. Family. Yes. <laughs> the world. They're going to try to stop you. You know what? People say things about you when they're jealous mm. because they don't like what you're doing. Mm. <laughs> they don't like what you're yeah. doing at all. Yeah. They want you to stop mm -hmm. from fulfilling mm -hmm. whatever God has called you to do. Mm -hmm. You know, just a, a quick time here. You know, it's like if you don't know yet, God has called you. Yes. So you are a somebody and you're on a mission for God. Yes, but you are. know what? You need to spend time with him yeah. so that you can know what it is he wants you to mm -hmm. do. Amen. 
And he, he's already equipped you. He's already yes, he qualified you. Yes. You know, we're still waiting for families. We're still waiting for friends. We're waiting for with a world approval. Mm -hmm. And he's already approved us. Yes. <laughs> Amen. So you go to him. Amen. So we, we just go and vent ourselves out to anybody and anyone. And they tell you the wrong things. Mm -hmm. We need to go to him and cast it on him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because he knows yes. what to do with it. And he knows yes. how, what to show you so that yeah. you can go and continue to do what you're doing. Yeah. Amen. Press it on. I like that. Yes. I like to press on. Yes. <laughs> we need not continue to carry the burdens because Jesus has already paid the price. Right. The big problem is this. Many believers, many Christians are still wanting to carry their burdens every day. Yeah. Everywhere. Yeah. And talk about it. Yes. So what do yes. we do? We're magnifying our problems more than we mm -hmm. magnify our God. That's it. You're not doing anything good. Mm -hmm. All you're doing is, is pleasing your friend. Uh -huh. And you know what? You tell your friend all these bad things are happening to you. And guess what? He's got worse. Uh -huh. <laughs> and he's going to try to help you and give you advice? Mm -hmm. No. You go to someone. You go to, to the Lord. Mm -hmm. And the Lord's going to show you in yeah. his word. Or he's going to show you the right people to go yes. to. You know, he puts people in our lives that's going to help us fulfill our destiny. Yes, yes. And if they're not helping you fulfill your destiny, they're distracting you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's not a good thing. No. Amen? Because you're just going to camp out. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's not a good thing to just camp out unless God told you to. Mm -hmm. But it's time to press on. It says press on, not camp out. Yes. <laughs> or stay down. No, get up. Get up, get up. Let's go. Whew. Life brings uh, circumstances, conditions, situations that causes emotions to run high, paralyzing, and controlling at times. Mm -hmm. This world, booze, drugs, mm -hmm. nothing is going to help you except, mm -hmm. <laughs> amen, except God. Yeah. You are going to lose control by carrying these burdens mm -hmm. of extra weights, extra loads, extra tears, concerns. I'm, I'm just going to lay them out for you. And you know, you might have a few you want to throw in. <laughs> 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 weights, cares, concerns, mm -hmm. worries, anxieties, fears, panics, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, problems, troubles. And you might have a few more because mm -hmm. he attacks us different. Yes. <laughs> but all these we can give to him. Yes, we and can. we're still carrying them around like, mm -hmm. like champions, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just going around telling each other how bad we have it. Mm -hmm. How bad this world's treating me. How bad things are going. Mm -hmm. But you're never confessing what God has done for you. Right. Amen. You're never confessing what you can do through Him. He said you can do all things through Christ things. who strengthens you. Yes. He says the joy of the Lord is your strength. Mm -hmm. So why are you trying to find your strength in booze mm -hmm. and drugs and all these other things in the world? In yeah. His joy, in His Word. Amen. Mm -hmm. Fill yourself up with His Word. Yeah. Come on now. Yes. Give, cast all burdens to the Lord. Be quiet because He cares for you. Yes. He will not permit. Listen, this is the Word of God. Now, He will not permit the godly to slip and fall. Yes. He's watching over you. Yes. He cares for you. You know what? I don't know. This is not on my notes, but uh, John 3, 16. For God so loved the world. Uh-huh. That he gave, he sacrificed his only yes. begotten son. Yes. It says that whoever believes in him should not perish, yes. but have everlasting life. Yes. Mm -hmm. I want everlasting life. Not in hell, but in heaven. Right. Amen. Right. I, hope, I hope you do the same thing. Yes. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Let's uh, go to First Peter. I've got it written here, so you just go ahead to follow. But mm -hmm. First Peter 5, chapter 5, verses 6 to 8. And I'm going to read it to you from the Amplified, okay? So you follow along in whatever translation you have. But it's 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 6 through 8. Ready? It says, Therefore humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. Mm -hmm. Set aside self-righteous pride, so that he may exalt you to a place of honor in his service. Yeah. He's going to promote you. Okay? <laughs> Don't be looking for the boss or the world or somebody else to promote you. God is going to promote you. Yes. Amen. He's going to promote you. This is going to happen. Um, at the appropriate time. <laughs> so remember, it's all God's time. Mm -hmm. You know, I pray, but Lord, you haven't answered me. No, and Lord. you get ticked off and, mm -hmm. and you say things. And, and I say, well, you know, he says pray and, and, and God's going to answer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at his time. And he knows the right time. So yes. you just be patient. 
<laughs> and have faith. And verse 7 says, Casting some of your cares. <laughs> Casting all your cares, all your anxieties, all your worries, all your concerns, once and for all on Him. Cast it on Him. Well, you know, I just want to give... You know, I could be, I could, I could do better if I just give him some, or maybe half of them, because I could deal with half, but not all of them. He says, cast them all yes. on him. You're on a mission for God, and he wants you to fulfill the mission, carefree, mm -hmm. weight free, okay, concern free, yes. <laughs> and it's going to be a whole lot better. Okay, I, I, I used to run lots, <laughs> and I used to put the right clothes to run, <laughs> and I have heavy clothes on. I mean, duh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, where did I leave off? Here, let me see. All your concerns on him. Why? Because he cares for you with yeah. deepest affection mm -hmm. and watches over you very carefully. carefully. So don't. <laughs> if things are happening, it's not because he took you, his hands off of you. No. It's because we walked away from right. him. Right. Okay? We walked away mm -hmm. and we're joining the wrong team. Mm -hmm. We need to be back on the winning team. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yeah. <laughs> So, watch this over you very carefully. Now, listen to this. I just wanted to add it. I was just wrote this for verse 7, which is casting all your cares on him. But verse 8, listen to verse 8. Oh, yeah. Be sober, well-balanced, and self-disciplined. Mm -hmm. Be alert and cautious at all times, says here, <laughs> the enemy. Yeah. They say people. Mm -hmm. The enemy uses people if they're not people of God, mm -hmm. children of God. But he says, the enemy, that enemy of yours, mm -hmm. the devil. Yes. <laughs> okay? That enemy of yours, the devil, prowls around it as a roaring lion, uh -huh. fearful, uh, fierce, fiercely hungry, seeking someone to devour. Mm -hmm. If the enemy goes around hungry to <laughs> devour you, why are you not hungry mm -hmm. for the things of God? Yeah. Why are you not hungry to study the Word yeah. and get hungry to spend time with Him? Yes. Amen. We spend all our time on self. We spend all the time on everything else except God. Uh -huh. I say, you know what? I'll pray tonight before I go to bed. And by the time we get ready for bed, lay our heads on the pillow, guess what? We sleep. Uh -huh. We're gone. <laughs> and we forgot about God. Well, tomorrow we'll do it all over again. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, man, these are good scriptures. You got to get this, you know, so we can cast it all on Him. Yes. And these are good scriptures. First Peter chapter five verses six through eight, and you can use different translations. Mm -hmm. Amen. This is this was uh, amplified. Matthew, go to Matthew, verse uh, chapter eleven verses twenty eight through thirty. Mm -hmm. This is the New tr Living Translation. Mm -hmm. I've already got it, so you can open your Bibles here. Matthew chapter 11 verses 28 through 30. Then Jesus said, come to me. Mm -hmm. He didn't say go to the world. He didn't say go pick up a bottle of booze or go give it to somebody else. Mm -hmm. He says, come to me. Mm -hmm. Come to me. Who come to me? He says, all you who are weary and carrying heavy burdens. Yes. So what's a burden? Burden is, is a load. Burden is, is a weight. So he says, come to me, all that are weary and carrying heavy burden. Yeah. I will give you rest. <laughs> what's drugs, what's booze going to give you? Mm -hmm. It's going to give you a quick high, <laughs> mm -hmm. and then he's going to drop you, and guess what? You still got problems. <laughs> yeah. But you know, if you want to get high, get high on the most high. Yeah. Amen. Get high on him. Stir yourself up, and guess what? There's no side effects. You're just going to be happy. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise God, and you're going to be free. It says the truth sets you free. Yes. Amen. We're going to be free from all these burdens. And verse 29 says, take my yoke upon you. Mm -hmm. Let me, says let me, we're talking about God, let me teach you because I am humble and gentle <clears throat> at heart and I will give you rest for your soul. Yes. It says my yoke is easy to bear. Uh -huh. And the burden I give you is light. Amen. <laughs> Amen. The burden I give you, whatever He gives you to work on, yes, is light. Yeah. Amen. And whatever He gives you to do, you're able to do. Yeah. Because He says you can do all things all through things. Christ who strengthens mm -hmm. you. 
Amen. I am able to do all things through Christ. So why am I still struggling? Because I'm carrying all this weight. <laughs> uh, okay, this is just me. I wrote this. Uh, let go and let God. Write that down somewhere where you can read it on a daily basis. You know, let go and let God. Okay, because I'm still on the throne. Get yourself off the throne and put God on the throne. Yes. Amen. Let go and let God. Leave it all at the cross. Yeah. All what? All your burdens. All your weights. All your distractions. Whatever it is. Ours are different, you know. Whatever distractions you have. Yeah. Whatever hobbies you have. Whatever bad hobbies or bad companies you have. Leave, mm -hmm. leave it all at the cross. Yes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. That's good. Here's another good one. Give it all up. Mm -hmm. You know, he says surrender. You know what Jesus did when he went to the cross? Yes. He spread arms. He spread his arms. Yes. Amen. He surrendered. That's a sign of surrender. <laughs> he surrendered himself to the Father. And he did not give himself up until he told the Father, forgive them. Yeah. And then he said, forgive them, because they don't know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And you know what? The Father forgave us because Jesus asked for his forgiveness. Yes. Amen. For us. That's how much he, he loved us. The Father sacrificed his son, but the son gave back to the Father and says, forgive them, Father. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, thank you. <laughs> yes. Here's a nice one. Dump it all. All trash goes to the dumpster. Right. I've said this many times before. When you go to the dumpster, <laughs> you leave your trash there. Mm. And you don't go and dump it and then take it all back. Take it back. That's what we do. We go to God and dump ourselves there. Mm -hmm. We cast ourselves. And then we walk away. Mm -hmm. And next thing you know is we got it all back. Mm. We took it back. Why? Because he didn't do it in, in time. Mm. <laughs> and so, you know what? Mm. I'm going to have to help God. <laughs> yeah. oh, God. So I'm taking it all back. Yeah. Okay? So I don't see myself going to the dumpster <laughs> and taking all my trash back Say, wait a minute. Take somebody else's trash. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone knows, but they won't do it. Yeah. Amen? Everyone knows, but they won't do it. They take it all back. Uh -huh. They feel dirty. They feel unclean. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? I confess all my sins to God, you know, mm -hmm. but I still feel like I'm not forgiving. Mm -hmm. I still feel dirty. No, well, you know what? That's the enemy. Yes. You know, that's the enemy. Yes. He says he'll forgive you uh -huh. and forget. Yeah. So how can he bring it back to you if he's forgiven you and forgotten? Uh -huh. Okay. If you confess it to him, <laughs> you know, the people will hold it against you. And bring it back to you, but not God. He says, He'll forgive and forget. So if it's still in your mind, and remember the battlefield, the mind, <laughs> that's what the enemy's gonna use. If it's still there, you say, Wait a minute, I'm not receiving this. Huh. The word of God says, yeah. He'll forgive and forget. Yep. So I'm not receiving this. That's right. This is not for me. This is for somebody else, but it's not for me. I'm yeah. forgiven. And yeah. He's forgotten it. So I'm going to forget about it. Yeah. And I'm going to press on. Yeah. Amen. You know, when you run, when you drive somewhere, <laughs> uh -huh. there's distractions on the road. Something might come, you know, cars, people, uh, a deer, cattle, whatever. There's distractions on the road. You know, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, detours. Yes. Uh, uh, people working on the roads. But still, mm -hmm. you stay focused yes. on what God wants you to do. Yeah. Stay focused on Him. Amen. Woo! Amen. God has told us to get rid of it. Put it down. Mm -hmm. Lay it down. Don't take it back. Right. The trash, sins, cares, concerns, problems, troubles, bad habits, bad companies, bad distractions. If he says let it go, let it go. Yeah. Why are you taking it back? He says that's not good for you. Mm -hmm. I had that for you for a time, for a season, mm -hmm. and that season is over. Mm -hmm. Let it go. We're pressing on. We're moving on. I've got new things for you. Yeah. yeah. We can't take on the cares of tomorrow because tomorrow's not here yet. That's tomorrow's right. gonna have enough worries of itself. Oh, yes, it is. Amen. So let's just deal with that. Amen. And he says you can do all things. All things. Through Christ. Amen. <laughs> Here's another good one. In the Amplified, I'm using the Amplified nuts. You go to Hebrews chapter twelve. Uh-huh. Hebrews Hebrews chapter twelve. Verses, uh, excuse me, chapter two, uh, 12, uh, verses 1 and 2. Mm -hmm. So Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. Mm -hmm. And you can uh, read on uh, your Bible. And I'm going to read it 
what I wrote here, okay, from the Amplified. There says, therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great a cloud of witnesses yeah. by who by faith have testified to the truth of God, absolute faithfulness. Mm -hmm. He says, stripping off every unnecessary weight, yeah. all these heavy loads, stripping them off. Mm -hmm. Amen. And the sin which so easily and cleverly entangles us. Mm -hmm. Let us run with endurance, determination, the race that is set before us. Yes. Press on. Yeah. Amen. But we've got to get rid of those things that God is telling us to do. Mm -hmm. And that sin that so cleverly entangles you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you ever try to, you, you ever pick a, a, a web, spider web, and oh. you're trying to get rid of it? I just did yeah. that yesterday. <laughs> And it, it won't go. It won't let go. <laughs> so you get this sin entangles us. Yeah. Uh, what was that saying? It says sin will take you further than you want to go, keep, keep you long. longer than you want to stay, yeah. and cost, cost you, more. you more than you can pay. Okay. Yeah. So be wise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> be careful. <laughs> yes. And we left off on uh, on verse two, but it mm -hmm. says press on, press on with God. Press on with him. Amen. Verse 2 says, looking away from all that will distract us yeah. and focusing our eyes on Jesus. Yeah. Now, this could be on a daily basis. It could be every day. Mm -hmm. As you go, you know, I'm focused on Jesus. Mm -hmm. Because if you ain't focused on Jesus and you don't renew your mind, you're going to be focused on the negative things yeah. the news is putting out. Oh, yeah. News. You know, there's nothing but bad things coming out on the news. And we are his church. We have the good news. We have the good news that they need to hear. Yes. Not the negative things. Okay? This is just going to give them heartaches. It's going to give them more cares, more concern. And just going to weigh them down. Mm -hmm. But you got the good news. Amen. You got the good news. Ooh, so we'll keep our eyes focused on Jesus, who is the author and, yes. and perfecter of faith. Yes. The first incentive. For our belief and the one who brings our faith to uh -huh. maturity. You yeah. know, <laughs> we're going to grow and mature in Him. Yeah. And we're going to grow as we grow in Him. Our faith is going to grow. Mm -hmm. And when your faith grows, your fears have to go. Mm -hmm. Amen. Well, when you're full of the Word, I ain't got room for fear. Right. <laughs> I ain't got room for all this negative stuff. Yeah. Amen. And He says... Out of my innermost being shall flow rivers of living water. Why? Because I'm full of Him. Because yeah. I'm full of the Word. You know, so don't have fear about saying, well, I couldn't be a witness. I couldn't oh. tell nobody about Jesus. Is that right? He says, if you're ashamed of me, I'll be ashamed of you. But you know, when you fill yourself up, when you build yourself up, you're going to build yourself to overflowing. And all yeah. that overflowing is going to minister to people. Yeah. You're going to share with people. You know, Word is powerful. But guess what? You got to speak it yeah. and release it yeah. and have faith. Amen. Amen. It's not going to do you any good just to hold it back. Oh, that's right. You're going to have to open your mouth and release it, you know. <laughs> Woohoo! Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Come on now. Who for the joy of accomplishing the goal set before him endured the cross. Yeah. It says, <laughs> wait a minute. Let me go back here. It says, who for the joy, mm -hmm. <laughs> who for the joy of accomplishing the goal set before him endured the cross. Yes. Mm -hmm. Disregarding the shame and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God, revealing his deity, mm -hmm. his authority, interceding for us mm -hmm. and the completion of his work. Yes. Amen. He knew the shame that was coming. Amen. You know, if you're not built up, <laughs> You're going to be ashamed yes, yes. of the things that you see or you hear or you, 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 you say. Mm -hmm. So you got to be careful. Jesus endured because he knew what was coming. Yes. They, he know, Hollywood paints a good picture. Mm -hmm. They stripped him mm -hmm. in front of people in public. And they beat him. They, they put stripes on him mm -hmm. on his back. He, the Bible says he was unrecognizable. Right, right. So now, and they still couldn't kill him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Yes. It's not a pretty Hollywood picture. <laughs> That's right. It was worse than that. 
Yeah. But he endured the cross. Yes. Amen. And it says, disregarding the shame. Mm -hmm. We have not gone through anything that Jesus went through. Mm -hmm. The minor things we've gone through is nothing compared to what he went through. Right. He endured the cross. Ooh, hallelujah. Let's go back. Well, we're in Hebrews. Let's just go one chapter up. Let's go to chapter uh, 13. Hebrews chapter 13, 5 and 6. This is New King James. I want to read it to you in King James and uh, and the Amplified. Oh, hallelujah. It says, let, it, let your conduct be without covetousness. Yeah. Be content with such things as you have. Uh -huh. For he himself, Jesus says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Right. So we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper. Uh -huh. I will not fear. What can man do to me? That's right. Amen. Mm -hmm. What can man do to me? Mm -hmm. So <laughs> if you ever say, well, Jesus left me, mm -hmm. you know, so I just went back to doing what I was doing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he didn't leave you. No, he didn't. He says, if you know what the word of God says, <laughs> he says he never leaves you, no know, for That's right. You. That's right. <laughs> you ever read the poem uh, 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 the, in the sand, the print in the sand? Yeah. The footprint in, in the sands? You see, he, he got, you know, he sees the two footprints, but all of a sudden he sees one, and then he's blaming God. He says, you see, you left me. He says, no, my son. He says, that's what I would carry to. Mm -hmm. Read it. If you haven't read it in a while, read it again. Oh, yes. He says, that's the time when I was carrying you. He never leaves you nor forsake you. He's always right. there. Amen. Always. And the times that we were lost and got away from him, mm -hmm. he was still there, yes. and he was carrying you. Yes. Amen. Until you, you <laughs> until you realize mm -hmm. it's time to come back home. Uh -huh. Just like the prodigal son. Yes. You know? Prodigal son did everything he could to get away. Mm -hmm. But he, then he realized, you know what? It's better at father's house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and father, when he was coming back every day, father went to and saw down the road mm -hmm. expecting the son to come back. Mm -hmm. A lot of you have been lost. A lot of you have been gone. Mm -hmm. Just like prodigal sons and daughters of God. And you know what? He's still waiting for you to come back. Wow. At least he realized, the prodigal son realized, <laughs> yeah. you know, I could do better in God's house. Yeah. Yeah. He's got something for you. Yeah. Come back home. Yeah. If you lost it, that's you, you know, it's time to come back to Father's house. Mm -hmm. You know, just say, Father, <laughs> I've sinned against you. I repent. You know, I receive you as my Lord and Savior. I want to come back home. He says, come. Mm -hmm. Amen. He never sent you away. You sent yourself away. Right. You allowed yourself to be cast out. Yeah. In the Amplified, Hebrews 13, 5 and 6 says, let your character, your moral essence, your inner nature be free from the love of money. Mm. Shun, says shun greed. Mm. Be financially ethical. Mm. Being content with what you have. For he himself said, I will never under any circumstances mm. desert you yes. nor give you up nor leave you without support oh. nor will I in any degree leave you helpless yeah. and if you never read it in the Amplified you know open the Amplified you know, and, and, and read it from there mm. read it from different translations nor will I forsake or let you down or relax my hold on you. Mm. Come on now. Mm. It says, Assuredly not. And verse 6 says, So we take comfort and are encouraged and confidently saying, The Lord is my helper yes. in time of need. I will not be afraid. Yeah. What will man do to me? When you're full of God, mm -hmm. <laughs> don't take the care. That's it. Amen. I'm going to go and fulfill. And press on and do what God has called me to yeah. do. You know, here's the thing is <laughs> there's no competition. It's just completion. Yeah. We don't have to compete in the body of Christ. <laughs> we just complete one another. Uh -huh. This this physical body has many parts, but it's one body. Yeah. And all of these parts function together mm -hmm. and they function in unity. Mm -hmm. The body of Christ, we need to do the same thing. Yes. And we don't have to compete against each other. That's Thank right. God, these physical, these uh, physical parts, these these parts don't compete against each other. Right. We'd be dead. <laughs> 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 so, 
So we need to do the same thing in the body of Christ. Big or small. Maybe he calls so and so to do bigger things. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know, when we're on the team, you know, <laughs> I'm not going to take all the fame. I'm just mm -hmm. going to say, hey, I'm doing this. And I do what I do yeah. as well because the rest of them are doing the same. Mm -hmm. They're doing their thing. Mm -hmm. Amen. So praise God. Amen. Come on now. Thank you, Lord. Whew. Here's what we need to do on a daily basis. We need to seek Him first. Amen. On a daily basis, we got to get our priorities right. Get your priorities right. What's the priority? Matthew 6, chapter 6, verse 33 says what? But seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added on to you. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, even in the military, when I was military, mm -hmm. we met first thing in the morning and got our priorities right yeah. on what we're going to accomplish mm -hmm. as a unit. And we as a body of Christ need to do the same thing. Lord, I come to meet with you. Mm -hmm. And he's going to tell you what needs to be done. Yes. What's my priorities? To meet with him first. Yeah. Amen. Acknowledge him first. And seek him first. And all these other things yeah. shall be added on to you. Amen? Amen. But know that you're a child of God. You can do all things through Christ. Yes. <laughs> you're more than a conqueror. Yeah. Thank you, you're a champion. Yeah. See yourself the way he sees yes. you. See yourself the way the word says about you. Mm -hmm. And don't worry about <laughs> what people said about you. Mm -hmm. What the family said about you. What you can't do or, or, or whatever. It doesn't matter. It's, <laughs> it's gone. It's yeah. behind you. St. Corinthians 5, 17 says, you're a new creature in Christ. The old yeah. is gone, the new is in. Yes. So now all this new has come. So forget about the old. Mm -hmm. And don't bring it up. Yeah. People are going to bring it up. The enemy's going to bring it up. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to bring it up. Say, you know what? That was the old me. Mm -hmm. I don't go there no more. I say, you got problems with that? Take it to God. Mm -hmm. He says, I gave it to him. So you're going to see him. <laughs> I don't think he's going to do that. <laughs> anyway, one more scripture and we can close. Yeah. Amen. So we know 1 Peter 5, 7 is casting all your cares, all your burdens upon him because he cares for you. Mm -hmm. Psalms 55 and verse 22. And I'll give it to you in, in uh, two translations here. New King James says, cast your burden on the Lord and he shall sustain you. He shall never permit the righteous to be moved. The New Living Translation says, So give your burdens to the Lord, and He will take care of you. Mm -hmm. He will not permit the godly to slip and fall. Mm -hmm. Okay? So whatever's been happening, just get in the Word. Give yourself a bath with the Word. Yes. Give yourself, hey, I like working out, you know. Well, give yourself some spiritual workouts mm -hmm. all the, every day. I like, Amen. hey, I can work out this physical body real well. Well, it's time that you start doing some spiritual exercises. Get in the Word. Spend time with Him. You know, when you build yourself up in the Spirit, the enemy has no chance, no choice. I mean, he has, <laughs> you start walking in your authority that He's given you. And the enemy, he says, submit yourself to God, resist the devil, and he's going to flee. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you're walking in your authority. Right. You're, you're, you, you've been giving yourself, you've been doing yeah. these uh, spiritual exercises, and now the enemy's on the run. Why? Because... Yeah. I'm using my authority. If yeah. you have authority, means uh -huh. you're going to speak the word. Yeah. The enemy's not afraid of the word of God. He's yeah. afraid of how much work you got in you and how much word you're speaking. Mm -hmm. When you speak the word, enemy's going to see, I'm in trouble. Mm -hmm. He says he will flee from you. Yeah. Amen. So you can do all things through Christ. All so remember that. Amen. Just leave you another nugget here. Prayer is a powerful weapon. Yes. Amen. Praise is a weapon, but so is prayer. And he's given us praise, and he's given us prayer. Amen. Prayer allows the believer to enter into God's presence, carrying our cares, our burdens, our concerns, and leave them and cast them at the cross. Yes. And don't take them back. <laughs> don't take the trash back after yes. you dump it. <laughs> That's right. Amen. I dumped it. I gave it to him. So mm -hmm. it's his. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. And uh, Hebrews 4.16 says, Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Yes. Amen. And now 
daily and often we need it. Yes. Amen. And the Amplified says this, Therefore let us with privilege, you have privilege, you're a child of God. He calls us children. Listen, <laughs> I want to share something with you. I don't know if you've ever been told this, but quit going around calling yourself a sinner. Mm. Amen. You were a sinner. You came to Christ. And now he says, my children. Mm -hmm. We're his children. And he's our heavenly father. Yes. yes, we can still sin. But you go and confess and give it up. And he'll for forgive and forget it. But we're not sinners anymore. I'm a child of God. Mm -hmm. I'm a believer. Amen. Okay? We can still, we still fall into sin. But get right with him. Amen. Amen. But quit going around and calling yourself. Uh, we, we call, you know, some of us uh, are quicker to call ourselves sinners than we do calling ourselves children of God. Mm -hmm. And when you, call, when you call yourself a sinner, you're going to feel shame. And you're going to feel like, I don't have no privilege to go before God. Mm -hmm. You confess it and give it to him. And it says, let me read it to you again in the Amplified. Therefore, let us, us children of God, <laughs> with privilege, yeah. approach the throne of grace. That is the throne of God's gracious favor. Mm -hmm. With confidence and without fear. Mm -hmm. So that we may receive mercy for our failures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we failed all the time. But still, we can go to him. Don't we? I failed you again. He says, that's all right, my son. He don't, he don't call you, oh, that's all right, my sinner. Mm -hmm. He don't say that. That's all right. You've come to Christ. You're a new creature in Christ. He come to you and says, that's okay, my son. That's okay, my daughter. Mm -hmm. He's not going to He's not gonna put you down. He's not going to give up on you. That's all right. So that we may obtain mercy for our failures. Mm -hmm. And find his amazing grace to help in time of need. Yes. And an appropriate blessing coming. Just at the right moment. Amen? Amen. So we just want to say thank you, Lord. Amen. In closing, we just want to say thank you, Lord. <laughs> Let the peace, the joy, the happiness mm -hmm. of God overtake you. Yes. Amen. Just let it overtake you. Thank you Lord. Amen. <laughs> I'll close with this. <laughs> Be a God pleaser, mm -hmm. not a man pleaser. Amen. If you try to please men, the world, man, will never be satisfied, will That's never right. be pleased. Mm -hmm. But you go be a God pleaser. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your precious word, Lord. Yeah. And let us uh, be bold and apply it to our lives, Lord. And we can go out and fulfill what you've called us to do, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Uh, we said it a few minutes ago, but uh, if this is your first time, you know, you never asked Jesus in your heart. Or if you've been lost, a prodigal son and daughter, it's time to come home. Uh -huh. Just say, Lord Jesus, I confess to you, I repent, I come to you, be my Lord and Savior. Yes. Hey Amen. If you've said that, you know, hey, he, you're back. You're his. So now, spend time with the Father. Amen. And let the Father tell you what to do. Amen. But get you a Bible and start reading the Bible. Amen. Don't let it just sit there and do nothing. Because right. if you don't get full of God, yeah. you're going to get be full of the world real yeah. soon again. And then you're going to be back in the same thing, you know. Right. So don't do that. Amen. So praise God. If you have sickness in your body, Father, we just speak to all those that are, are watching, all those that are within the sound of my voice, and we speak healing. By Jesus Christ, yeah. you are healed. Sickness yeah. has no right no in God's uh, in, right. your, in your uh, mind, which is the yeah. temple of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, so we speak healing to everyone that's uh, watching and listening to us that needs a touch of healing right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. And if you're watching and listening, we'd like to give your tithe and offerings. You still can. Just go to our website, nbcbigbid.com. Hit that donate button. And if you're mailing it, just go to NBC, PO Box. 252 Marfa, Texas, 79843. And we just want to say, God bless you. We love you. Amen. God loves you. We love you. Praise God. Amen. Oh, man.